So, hi everybody. I want to start off by thanking everyone for being here this morning. Seeing all the people we love most, who have been with us every step of the way, here to celebrate the end of such an exciting season is a big deal. As most of you know, I spent a majority of my career at UCI. However, I did not have a banquet last year. So being able to celebrate here today means the world to me. Little did I know that last year at this time, I'd be standing in front of you all today at my senior banquet and the true end of my volleyball career. It is such an honor to be able to wear these colors and represent a school that I have always dreamt of attending since I was a kid. My dad actually used to play the fight song for me on the way to volleyball tournaments. Um, all through elementary and middle school and high school um, to get me fired up. Um, as some of you know, I come from a line of Trojans. My dad, my grandpa, and my great-grandparents all have a history on this campus. So here I am, <laughs> making my own memories as a member of the Trojan family. I'm sorry. <laughs> a member of the Trojan family, and it is so much more meaningful and exciting. These past few months have been everything I expected and more. There have definitely been some highs and some lows, but I am proud of everything that we accomplished this season. I'd like to give a few examples of those experiences, starting with the lows. <laughs> Not really quick. Um, I think we can all agree that those 6 a.m. running sessions were the pits. <laughs> um, I think I think we can also agree that having tough classes during season also sucks. Personally, my classes were hell, as most of you have heard me complaining non-stop about, but good news, I passed, I survived. <laughs> um, and I was a wee bit overwhelmed one week in particular. I had four assignments due, we were traveling, I pulled two all-nighters, and just when I thought life couldn't get any worse, Mick announced that the hotel might not have Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, so you all witnessed my mental breakdown. I hysterically cried in the middle of practice. And um, it's pretty pathetic. Um, but at my rock bottom, I felt something that I had actually never truly felt before on any team. And that was a true sense of family. Um, everyone was so concerned and supportive. And I knew from that moment that they had my back. Um, this is going to be really cheesy, but <laughs> what I thought was a low actually turned out to be a high, and it was something I will never, ever forget. Um, and now for the best part, the highs. It's pretty obvious that my favorite memories are making it to the Sweet 16 and then the Elite 8. But there were so many other great memories that we've shared along the way, like when Victoria threw the ball as hard as she could and it hit the ground <coughs> and it bounced up and it hit her in the face. <laughs> Um, when, when Rennie brought Bo into our lives, when Reagan ate a caterpillar at team bonding, and disgusted but also like really impressed, um, when Brennan and Alexa got locked out of their apartment over the summer and discovered that I'm the only person who answers my phone at 2 a.m., um, Nikki and Ford dancing in the locker room and on the sidelines. Um, Welsh getting mistaken for a tall guy in the airport. <laughs> 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 the most of us hats and hoods and pretending that we're both are actually guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> when we discovered that Daily likes short men. <laughs> of the locker room floor the morning after her 21st birthday. <laughs> Our Game of Thrones group chat, I'm, I love, and when Kalia almost tore down the net when she missed the overpass <laughs> bill in our <laughs> So, and just so many more. Those are just the ones off the top of my head. Um, these memories make me already just traveling, hanging out in the locker room, and most of all wearing a USC jersey. And with that, I'd like to say a special thanks to Jason. 
um, who helped me with the whole admissions process, and you tried your absolute best to answer all of the questions that I had, even though some of them were impossible, um, and helped get me into the school. And I want to thank him and Mick for giving me a chance and granting me this incredible opportunity to play at such a high level for such a recognized program. I am truly honored. I want to thank Kyle. Thank Kyle. <laughs> for spending so much time and effort to help us prepare for our matches, and I appreciate all the motivational texts you sent me. Really, really appreciate it. Help me out. Um, the coaching staff was better than I could have ever hoped for, and I'm so lucky to have been coached by each of them. And I want to personally thank Steve, because I don't know what I would have done without him. He was my rock, and he was one of the most inspiring people I've ever met. Um, Katie and Jeff, I'm going to miss you both. Um, you guys are each such a positive light and always knew how to cheer us up. Andrew, you were my go-to when I needed someone to talk to and confide in, and I'm so grateful for you. I appreciate your sense of humor and your sarcasm. Um, even though you constantly make fun of me for my grandma candy and think I'm weird, but you're pretty weird yourself, so that's why we get along so well. <laughs> Um, to my family, thank you all for the years of driving me to volleyball games and practice. You gave up holidays and birthdays to travel and watch me play, and I'm so lucky. <laughs> Stop, you're making me cry. Well, <laughs> um, where I'm at. Birthdays and travel to watch me play, and I'm so lucky to have such an amazing support system. And lastly, Tynan, thank you for being my biggest fan and keeping me sane. I love your enthusiasm and how invested you were in every match, even though you could not physically be at them because of school and work. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to end with some advice I was given by some of my older peers at UCI that I could not agree with more. It's going to be hard most days. It is a constant grind. Things happen that are unexpected, and life won't always go your way. At times, you will feel like you are drowning, but don't quit or give up. Because I promise it is worth every second. I would not be standing in front of you today at my dream school after competing in the Elite Eight if I had given up because of my past injuries or psychotic coaches. <laughs> I was told that many times that time flies and you're going to miss it when it's over. And this could not be any more true. So thank you for being a part of my experience and making it so great. I love you guys. Bye on.